Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a sum, a sum of squares of even numbers. First of all, I just want to pose this question. Does this look familiar? If it does, please don't say it. It's a secret. You have to keep it till the end. Okay. So my goal is not just to give you a sum that can be solved with the use of a formula or with a little bit of manipulation, but also go over how that formula can be derived. So stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and derive a formula for the sum of squares of consecutive integers. Make sense? So in other words, I'm going to be looking for a formula to evaluate this sum 1 squared through n squared, where n is a positive integer. Okay? Now, you can prove, if you are given a formula, you can definitely use mathematical induction and uh, you can do a proof, but that's not our goal. We're going to come up with the formula. That's what I mean by derive, okay? Not drive, but derive. Anyways, so here's the starting point, and this is super important. Sometimes you, you may not know where to start, but I'm gonna tell you. You're gonna start with difference of two cubes, and this is very special. You might be wondering, like, why on earth should we use difference of two cubes to come up with a formula for the sum of squares? That's exactly what we need. So let's go ahead and set this equal to what it is. If you expand and simplify, remember from binomial theorem, this is going to be k, k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. Subtract k cubed, you're going to end up with 3k squared plus 3k plus 1, which is awesome because we are looking for sum of squares, and this is going to be our key to the solution okay so let's go ahead and do the following now since this is an identity i can go ahead and sum both sides with sigma that's what i'm going to do so let's go ahead and sigma on both sides k plus one cubed minus k cubed obviously since these are identical i can basically replace one with the other therefore this equality will be maintained but what is my sum going to look like, it's going to look like the following. It's going to be from k equals 1 to n, k equals 1 to n, all right? Because my goal is to evaluate the sum 1 squared through n squared, and that's exactly what's going to come up here, okay? Let's go ahead and find out. First of all, look on the left-hand side and take a very hard look, okay? Now, what does that look like to you? Well, we can basically separate these, right? And that would be a really good idea because if you don't and simplify like the right hand side, then you're not really getting anything interesting. So let's go ahead and split them up because sigma allows us to do it, right? Now k plus 1 cubed, k equals 1 through n, so that means 1 plus 1 cubed, which is 2 cubed, plus 3 cubed, plus dot dot dot, all the way up to n plus 1 cubed. But of course I have n cubed before n plus 1 cubed, so let me write that too. So you kind of get the pattern, sort of like a pattern, because something is going to emerge here, right? And then from that, I'm supposed to subtract the sum of cubes, which is fairly easy. One cubed, two cubed, three cubed, dot, 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 and cubed. Some people don't like the phrase dot, dot, dot. You just say so on and so forth. Same idea. Okay, now, notice that this is kind of like a, is it called a telescoping sum? I don't know. I forgot. But anyways, you can cancel all these terms out, and you're going to end up with something super duper simple. This one minus 1. Wait a minute, is that helpful at all? Yeah, it is going to be helpful. You'll see in a little bit. But what is n plus 1 cubed minus 1? What is n plus 1 cubed? First of all, n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1 minus 1. This is exactly what it is. And this is going to equal. Now, we haven't done anything on the right-hand side of our sigma. Let's rewrite it, and I'm going to start working it out. So we had 3k squared plus 3k plus 1, remember? But sigma allows us to split these up, right? So we can go ahead and actually separate these into different terms. So I can kind of write it like k equals 1 through n, 3k squared, and then sigma 1 through n, 3k, plus sigma k equals 1 through n, 1. Okay, that's a constant, so that's easy to do. Now, notice that I have an expression in terms of n on the left-hand side, so the right-hand side should also be in terms of n, right? But here's what we should focus on. Because we're looking for sum of squares, this is my goal. So I should subtract everything else. But before that, let's go ahead and write down what they are. So this is equal to 
and I can pull out the three, right? K equals one through N, K squared, exactly this is what I'm looking for, right? And then plus, now this is gonna be, the three can go out, this is the sum of one plus two plus all the way up to N, as you know, hopefully you do, n times n plus 1 divided by 2. And that can be proven by using a difference of 2 squares, very similar to this one. And of course, you could do the fourth power. I believe I've done a video on the proof of fourth power. If I can find it, I'll share this uh, link down below. If you do know, please share with us. But if you just add the 1, like write the 1 n times and add, it's just going to be n. Make sense? So let's go ahead and put everything on the left-hand side. But before that, let's go ahead and multiply everything by 2 because I want to get rid of the fractions, okay? So I'm going to multiply by 2. Multi Did I say divide? I don't remember. Anyways, multiply everything by 2, and you're going to get rid of the uh, n squared plus n plus n, and you could write it as 2n, but no big deal. Since our goal is to find this, sort of, let's go ahead and subtract n squared plus 2n. This is 2n, right? Okay. So if you subtract n squared, this is going to be 2n cubed plus you have n squared, right? You're going to subtract it. That's going to give you 5n squared, right? Okay. So, oh, by the way, we forgot something. I just realized, uh-oh, uh-oh, there should be a 3 here. I forgot this 3 because this is just for the sum of the consecutive numbers. And we should have a 3n squared. Great. And then, of course, this is going to be a 3n2. So when I subtract it, that's going to give me 3n squared. 6n minus 3n is going to be positive 3n. So these are gone. I'm good to go. And that, that should actually be a 4n, right? So that will be, a, let's see. Um, this should be a 4n. And when I subtract, that should give me a 2n. Okay, here we go. That will be a 2n, right? Did we get that right? Hopefully we did. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. Okay, we'll see how that goes. So this is my expression, and I'm supposed to, uh, let's see, I probably made a mistake. I feel like, oh yes, I forgot to multiply this by 2, 2. Oh man, this is crazy. So that's going to be a 5n, and when I subtract, I'm going to end up with a single n. Okay, here we go. So this is the correct one, I think, because I double check, triple check my work. So now this is equal to 6 times what I'm looking for, and what do you think? I'm supposed to divide both sides by 6, right? Because this is exactly what we're looking for. Remember, we were looking for this sum of squares, which is this sigma 1 through n k squared, and that is actually 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n divided by 6. And we came up with the formula, so bye-bye, that's it. No, no, no. We're not done yet because we're still going to simplify this expression, right? Because it's simplifiable. You like the word? So, from here, we get the following. First of all, you can take out an n, 2n squared plus 3n plus 1 over 6. And then this expression is also factorable. Notice that the sum of the evens is equal to the odds. So this can be written as 2n plus 1 times n plus 1. Remember, negative 1 is a solution. And yes, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. It's usually written that way because the terms are kind of progressing that way. And here is the formula for the sum of squares. Ta-da! This was a long video, I know, but this is the formula I wanted to show you and I want to share with you. Now, let's, let's get back to our expression because our expression is very special. And if you remember, I made a video recently on a special occasion and I kind of messed up on that, so I wanted to fix that as well. Anyways, this sum, if you use the formula, wait a minute, these are sums of evens, don't worry about it. We can factor out a 2 squared and this is going to be normal, right? And that's going to be all the way up to 11 squared. Let's go ahead and use the formula. This is just 4. And the, with the formula, n is 11. So it's going to be 11 times 12 times 2 times 11, 22 plus 1, 23, all over 6. Let's see if we can simplify this. Yes, of course. We can do it. Wait a minute. Does that look familiar to you? 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 11 is 88. And 88 times 23 uh, guess what? It's 2024. Yay, fireworks. Happy New Year. All right. One more time, right? And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.